there. My name is Matt Cole, one of the producers of the Sexperts Podcast, along with my good friend Brian Garrity. Before I begin the show, I just have a few announcements. First off, a huge thanks to our guests during this episode, Linda Lang, Rick Krupnik, Dennis Andrews, and Jim Verberka of the Upright Senior Citizens Brigade. You can check them out live at the Push Comedy Theater this coming Sunday, June 25th at 2 p.m. It's going to be a matinee. Uh, you can also check out uh, me and Brian's group, The Bright Side Sketch Comedy, at the Bush Comedy Theater July 1st at 10 p.m. It's going to be a hilarious show. I want to uh, mention a couple things about this episode in particular because it's a little wacky. First off, well, it's our 20th episode, so yay, congrats us. We've been around for a while. Second, uh, full transparency, and this has never happened before, but as some of our listeners know, um, we are are a fully improvised uh, podcast. As soon as we hit the record button, we go straight through for 20 minutes. Well, I thought I hit the record button in this episode, and then 10 minutes later, I was like, oh, fuck. I forgot to hit the record button. God damn it. So that's pretty frustrating. If you hear Dr. John mention deja vu during this episode, well, that's what's going on. But uh, we rallied, and we uh, changed it up, and w- we ended up with a really great podcast, but that was kind of lame. Anyways, uh, and last, uh, I do want to dedicate this episode to a good friend of ours who, who we lost uh, around this time last year, John Sharp. And if you didn't know John Sharp, he was a huge part of the Push Comedy Theater community. He was a hell of a comedian and improviser, and we really miss him a lot. He was actually a member of the Upright Senior Citizen Brigade, and we wish he was still around. He would have done this podcast, and he would have just like killed it. And man, he was awesome. So we really miss you, John. This episode is dedicated to you. And without further ado, everything you are about to hear is made up on the spot for the second time. So please enjoy <laughs> this wonderful episode of The Sex Birds. And intro music, intro music, intro music, and hi there. Welcome to The Sex Birds. God, it's it feels like deja vu. Like we have been recording the sex birds for such a long time, but every time is so different. Anyways, I am your host, Doctor John T. Alanese, CPM, and I am Delilah Haydare of Delilah's Tilapia House. <laughs> God, you know I've eaten there so many times. It's just like it melts in your mouth. I know we've only been open one weekend. I know my new all tilapia restaurant, and you've been there for every meal since we've been open. <laughs> I cannot get enough. You know? Well, that's why we opened it up. People love tilapia. Mm. And uh, we are coming to you uh, live from the Chick-fil-A. Um, we love Chick-fil-A so much, but we like tilapia as well. Um, we are coming to you to talk to you about modern day controversial sex topics. And I got a doozy for you today. This is actually um, somebody called in, and uh, which is weird because I don't have my, my, my number public. So somebody somehow found me. God, could you imagine if you did? Oh, I get so many voicemails. I don't even check my voicemail. Um, uh, dry dreams. Dry dreams is the name of the game. We know what wet dreams are, okay? Nocturnal emissions. But these are a little bit different. We're getting to the differences, the dangers, the traps, the do's and don'ts of dry dreams. Um, but talk to me more about tilapia. Or tilapia or tilapia? There's no wrong way to say tilapia. As long as those <laughs> syllables are coming out your mouth, you're on the right track. How about tilapia? Go for it, bro. Um, you say tilapia, I say tilapia. Yeah, a lot of people said we couldn't serve breakfast at an all tilapia house. I proved them wrong. We have <laughs> tilapia savory oatmeal. Yeah. Oh, cool. Tilapia and waffles. It's just like chicken and waffles, only better because it's tilapia. We have um, tilapia con carne, which means tilapia with meat. But in this case, in this case, in this case, it's, spoiler alert, it's tilapia meat. <laughs> Okay, well, uh, our guest, actually, let's get to our guest, and we, we will get to Dry Dreams in just a little bit, uh, but they're already having fun here uh, at the Chick-fil-A. Uh, why don't you guys, hey, welcome, welcome to the show, why don't you guys go ahead and introduce yourselves. Let's start, uh, let's start with you. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I am I am Sanjay uh, uh-huh. Wupka. Yeah, okay. Uh, and you know me as the Calcutta Kid. Yeah, the yes. Calcutta Kid. Uh, if you guys don't know, I'm a huge wrestling fan. Oh, my God. Oh, I, I watched these it. guys growing up. Uh, but now you guys are retired. Is that right? We are retired, but I can still yeah. open up a can of Wukas. Wukas. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, you remember, you I've heard remember. that a million times. Oh, God. Okay, uh, how about you, sir? Yeah. Hi, I'm uh, Karl Lewandowski, yeah. better known as the uh, Polish Prince. The Polish Prince. That's right. That's the are name actually- I wrestled. We're all retired wrestlers. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Do you actually come from royalty? Royal blood? No, no, that's just a, a handle. Mm, uh, that kind of well, ruins my one of my dreams. I, I always imagined that me and you would get married someday and and live in a castle. But okay, let's uh, get to the next. He wanted, he wanted to be Princess John T. Alanis. <laughs> <CPM. laughs> How about you, sir? So how you doing? Hey, my hey. name is uh, Moose McPherson. Yeah, all the way from Manitoba. You might know me better off as 
the crazy Canuck. Yeah, and actually, I'm glad to see you back, sir, because I know that for a time you had a stint in the sanit- sanitarium, uh, sanatorium, I'm not sure how to pronounce that one either, uh, but welcome back. It's glad, you know, uh, mental health is a stigma these days, but we're glad to see you back. My hat's off to you, sir, and, and, and you. Yes, hi. Yeah, hi yeah. Oh, we know who you are. Go uh, for Minnie it. I'm Bama. You know me. Oh, my God. Here you know with me us right off Chick-fil-A. the mat. <laughs> my name used to be yeah. Dominica Bombarossi. <laughs> But they kind of had to shorten it and give me something good for oh, the mat, God. you know. And, yeah. and Mini Bomber, man. Mini Bomber. Now you know me. She brings it, eh? And to our listeners at home, um, when you hear Mini Bomber, you think it's like, oh, is she dressed up as a Mini <laughs> Barack Obama? That's what I thought, yeah. <laughs> it's like, no, no, no. Um, you actually have to so go ahead and describe what you're wearing because this is a great outfit. We're all wearing wow. our, um, our Glory Days outfits here. <laughs> all right. Well, we got, we got the skirt, yeah. which is about a good eight inches above the knee. Mm. I think that's just about prime now these days. And, oh yeah, uh, and the top, the top rib. is is like a sheer lingerie yeah. underneath my leather jacket. Oh my god, that is. You still wear it well. Um, all right, and you, sir, what are you wearing? Well, as you see, can see here, I'm wearing my goalie pads. They're 18 inches across, which is just a little bit bigger than the standard. <laughs> and you can see I have my just a little bit my stick right here, my 26 millimeter stick. <laughs> that's a hockey stick, by the way. You are really into numbers. I like this. And I can, you can see I have my my jersey on, number 15. And I can, you, right here, you can see that I am a... <laughs> when I take my teeth out, you can see I have none of my teeth out. Uh, how many teeth are there there? Uh, three. <laughs> I love numbers too. And you, sir, what are you wearing? Oh, God, put them back. Well, I am yeah. wearing my normal outfit of uh, the white, of course, I always yeah. dressed in the white. Yeah, and then pristine. I am pristine. Mm-hmm. And I am wearing mutton on my face, and of course, I'm smothered in mutton as usual. <laughs> pristine mutton. <laughs> God, and you have a raging erection. <laughs> I do. That's the tagline of his autobiography, uh, Smothered in Mutton. <laughs> Oh, God. Uh, and you, sir. Um, uh, yeah. Mine, you probably tells a yeah. uh, 1920s uh, men's uh, swimsuit <laughs> with the straps, and all of sequins are hand-sewn, I'll have you know. No way. Yes, that's right. Uh, now, I'd, I'd like to put a plug in for our organization, if yeah, I could. Please, uh, we're, yeah. We're all members of SWEAT. So what was SWEAT? SWEAT. Uh, yeah. se- senior wrestlers excitedly attacking terrorists. No, you are in the counterterrorism I biz. saw a Netflix doc about you guys. <gasps> Did you? Yes. It's on Netflix? Yes. They, yeah. um, they, they send you guys in on helicopters. <laughs> That's right. right. And you use your old wrestling skills to manu- manually hand-to-hand combat these terrorists. And kind of put them in their place. Oh, we my do. God. Right, eh? The only problem we yeah. had is getting the ring set up on time. <laughs> it often ruins the surprise. Well, when so, come there. What the documentary said is that um, anytime like, they yeah. lose, the, they had this ring setup team that yeah. goes in ahead of them. And oh by God. the time they get good at yeah. setting up the ring, they, they usually lose them. They they end up it's true. They, they lose the terrorists. No, they end the, 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 the ring crew, eh? Oh God! One good full Nelson, man. That's all you need. One Whoa. good full Nelson, and bam, they're down. Many bama. Put them in a sleeper hold, eh? Oh my God! I just <laughs> rub them with mutton. <laughs> <laughs> a terrorist nightmare. <laughs> no, stop, stop. Speaking of terrorist nightmares. Oh my God, terrorist nightmares. Yeah, our topic of the day, which I, I want to get each of your perspectives on this, is dry dreams, okay? And again, they're a little bit different than wet dreams, um, and people are embarrassed. You know, people are embarrassed by wet dreams. And dry let's be dreams, specific yeah. about wet dreams are, because yeah. I, I, my dream has always been to own a tilapia restaurant. Yeah. And people might say, well, that's a wet dream, because fish yeah. live in the water. Yeah. But that's not really what we're getting at. No, no, no. Um, no. It's, it's more of a sexual sort of thing. But no, dream- I, actually, I just realized something. So sweat is actually one letter off from SWAT. So, have you, have one you guys extra letter, yeah. one extra letter? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I actually heard about a recent um, kind of a mishap where they called in sweat instead of SWAT, and there was a, there's a bomb that you guys need to defuse. How did that go over? Well, first of all, they yeah. were confused because of Mini Bama. What happened? What would she do? They, well, they thought she could defuse bombs with the Bama in the name. <laughs> <laughs> it was we were surprised. Yeah, and, and it didn't really work out well. None of us had our reading glasses with us. <laughs> So you couldn't see the wires. No. Uh, and actually, a few of you are colorblind. I remember seeing a video of them putting Mini Bama on a skateboard and pushing her out. 
<laughs> pushing her out towards the bomb as like a robot. I'm like, wait a second, that's a human being. That's a former wrestler. I, I got know. that parachute open just in time before we hit the bottom. <laughs> yeah. yeah, she was actually on a loading dock. <laughs> and the skateboard went off the loading dock. And she pulled her parachute and gl- glided gently down the three feet from the loading dock. Jesus. Not a scratch. <laughs> do you guys get confused for anything else? Like sweat, SWAT? Do people run to it? Like you wear your goalie outfit a lot. Do people think you're actually NHL? Or? Well, like, you know, sometimes they'll come up to me and ask me for my autograph. Yeah. Eh? And then when I write Crazy Canuck, well, they, they want to slap me because they think I'm, you know, Patrick Waugh or yeah. Terry Sawchuck or yeah. somebody I, else I can't name. <laughs> well, this is a worldwide podcast. Yeah. We have listeners all over the globe, yeah. but most of them speak English. Yeah. So if you could keep your comments to English. <laughs> I can't understand. Actually, these two, I can't understand what they're saying at all. I'm just nodding my head. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I understand. Um, so tell us about your craziest uh, counterterrorism mission, most recent one. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. It was classified. I can oh. talk about <laughs> it. Uh, I, I, I think this podcast, I think we're, we're yeah. certified classified. Yeah, we're... <laughs> We're classified. You can, it, you're safe. It, nobody's listening except for the people here in Chick Fil A. Well, it involves mm-hmm. Chick Fil A, actually. What? Really? Yes, yes, yes. Terrorism at Chick Fil A? They were holding the chickens hostage. No. Yes. yes Where? Yes. Where was this? In Pongo. In. P- <laughs> it turned out it was the cows. <laughs> so, this is, so this is domestic terrorism. Yes, yes. Oh. It, it is not talked about. Yeah. But you hear more about like Middle, Middle Eastern terrorism absolutely. and Muslims and stuff like it's that. It's not talked but, about in open, but in classified environments like this, yeah. people talk yes. about it all the time. It, the cows got out. Yeah. And they quickly surrounded the chickens and they called us. Oh my God. That is crazy. They quickly? I've never seen a cow do anything quickly. <laughs> well, everything is relative. <laughs> Um, I want to talk about uh, a couple of different relationships. You guys have a weird dynamic as uh, Mini Bama and uh, Indian fellow. Sanjay. Sanjay. You guys had a relationship at one point, and yeah. um, you guys were off and on, kind of like the Fleetwood Mac of, of wrestling. I've heard that a That's whole a lot. One. Yeah, First thank you. First of all, it started, the way we met it started yes. off in a difficult way. Yeah. You see... We did not know Mini Bama was a woman at first. <laughs> Wait, so you went to a relationship thinking that she was a man? I did not know there was going to be a relationship. Oh. We were in the locker room one day. Oh. And you know, the guys, we like to compare certain things. <laughs> so the three of us were comparing. And then we looked at Mini Bama. Yeah. There was, was it there? Nothing there. Nothing there. We were surprised. But Vince McMahon made us keep it a secret for many years. <laughs> Just because I'm a woman and I could kick all your asses, that's why you shut up. Exactly. That's true. It, it was not looking good when she killed, killed Hulk Hogan. Is that what did it for you? Where you're like, I'm out of this? or No, actually, yeah. it's what turned me on. Oh, <laughs> What, what got what, you out of it? Like, where did the split come? You know, The, the love of her life. Who is that? Andre the Giant. Oh, you oh. and Andre the Giant? Andre, Andre. Oh. Oh, you had to go mention Andre now. Oh. Andre was... He was the love of my life. He was. I loved him in The Princess Bride. I named. Uh, I mean, you had to like crawl up his body. You know. <laughs> I, I, I named the lunch special at my new restaurant after him. What is that? Andre the Giant Tilapia Sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Our biggest piece of tilapia now, served see, that, on a hoagie roll. I, that is del- delightful. I didn't even know that was what it was called. I was just like, give me the tilapia sandwich. No, no. Well, we it's have a regular Andre. tilapia sandwich, but if you're feeling extra hungry. We have the Andre the Giant. I should just order that because I order three of the regular sloppy sandwiches. I can get one Andre the Giant. And we have a lot save of money. wrestling based <laughs> dishes. We have the Hulk Hoagie, which is a tilapia hoagie. <laughs> we have the um, uh, junkyard tilapia, which is a dessert dish. <laughs> It sounds delightful. And then the other, um, the other interaction between you two specifically, uh, which led to you being uh, committed. Um, you guys had a huge feud between you, you guys. Talk about that. W- why are you guys fighting so much? He's a Canuck. He's not American. So you want him He's out. He's a foreigner. <sighs> okay. Go back where you came from. <laughs> so like the, 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 the true truth. Yeah. The true Let's truth. get to the true <laughs> truth. The Canadian truth. Yeah. Is it's over bacon. Mmm. <laughs> And in Canada, they when you swear in to be a witness in a court hearing, they say, "Do you swear to tell the true truth?" The true truth <laughs> on the this can- stack of bacon, the Canadian truth. <laughs> so help you, Canadian bacon. Canadian bacon. Okay, so uh, talk to us about it. Why did you guys have a rift over bacon of all things? Well, 
Have you ever seen Canadian bacon? It's round. It's round. Yeah. Have it's ever, not bacon. Uh oh. There's more. It's like, there's was it made from bacon. snakes? There's more bacon to the Canadian bacon, <laughs> eh? Than there is to the short shriveled. I'd like to extend an olive branch in this yeah. in this battle over bacon. Mm-hmm. Um, at my new restaurant, we've perfected the tilapia bacon. <laughs> And I think you'll both find it to be a healthier alternative to your uh, regional bacons um, without sacrificing any of the taste. And um, it, it tastes like back bacon, eh? It, it tastes like a, a cross between Canadian bacon and American bacon with this a hint, a, just a hint, an overtone of tilapia. I'd be willing to try that. See, everything happens at the Chick-fil-A. We are making it. Um, now, I do want to get back to our topic of the day, okay, because... Dry dreams, okay? It's something that has a stigma in this country. Um, Speaking of stigmas. Yeah. Um, healthcare. <laughs> oh, my goodness. We, our healthcare program yeah. is horrible. Oh, when we were addressing the, this was yeah. the worst program. I think your, your careers would be classified as a pre existing condition. <laughs> Did you guys have like a insurance or for, for wrestling? You must get scrapes no. and broken bones. No. And stuff? Yeah, no this guy certainly no. didn't have dental insurance. <laughs> 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 Who does? That last punk he got hit with did him in, and not a cent. Not a cent. Oh, golly. No, no. The, the, we, we had the, <laughs> the ring doctor. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, he was our doctor. He was horrible. He was, yeah, he wasn't actually a doctor. You called him, that was his nickname. Yes. Every time he said doctor was in doctor, air quotes. Doctor Death should not be your doctor's name. <laughs> he was my favorite wrestler, but when not you, a good actual When doctor. the only thing you're qualified to do medically is cut you underneath your eyelids, exactly. that's not a very talented doctor. <laughs> if I was sick, he would give me yeah. blood capsules. Tell me to bite down. <laughs> oh, God. Um, listen, I... I I want to see a little bit of that magic that I saw as a kid. Oh, so yeah. could you guys do me a favor? Remember the United Nations of War when they had that <laughs> pay-per-view? It was the first pay-per-view event ever. <laughs> United Nations of War. I watched that like 50 times. Um, we actually set up a little ring here in the Chick-fil-A, and we want to actually... I hope you guys can wrestle with a ball in a ball pit. <laughs> <laughs> we actually want to see it, okay? Uh, so we have this, uh, this cow, this uh, person in a cow costume. So let's just call him the... Yeah. We'll call him the ring doctor. Ring doctor, yeah. And we know you guys are professionals, so we've arranged a a prize for Mm -hmm. the winner. Yeah. Um, A uh, soft serve cone. With tilapia? (laughs) We can sprinkle tilapia flakes Uh, on the top of it. We have coupons for all of you for participating for uh, Delilah's House of Tilapia. All right, so we'll do uh, two on two. So uh, let's let's do the pairs first. All right, so uh, ding, ding, ding. Go, go, go at it. (laughs) Hey. Hey. Did what you get him? I don't know. I can't see him. <laughs> you got dive down in the balls already. <laughs> My glasses are missing. Ding, ding, ding. That's the round over. Hold I don't on, know who won that one. On. What? I found Moose's teeth. <laughs> that sounded like... Get him back, eh? This is, this is good. Get I... Moose back his teeth already. Come on. Let's go. So for our listeners get at home, the fucking cow. we don't have video. This is, this is chaos here. Yeah, we're not very good play-by-play no, commentators, I'm... but we'll try our best. Um... It's sort of like a cross between a fight and dinner with your grandparents. <laughs> Where it's just awkward yes. <laughs> overall. And they're wearing very, very tight-fitting uh, unitards. You know what? Let's just all have a Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich. Speaking of Chick-fil-A chicken sandwiches, <laughs> yeah. uh, that brings us to our first sponsor. Oh, yeah. Let's get to our sponsor. Delilah's House of Tilapia. <laughs> uh, eat... Yeah. More tilapia, and, a, <laughs> and if you see our billboards, are chickens writing "Eat more tilapia" on the uh, billboards, and they spell, they always spell it wrong. Yeah, so you can't even tell it's the word tilapia because it's spelled so fucking wrong. <laughs> and you don't expect it to say tilapia. T x y l z p. Yeah, well, if you've ever heard a chicken try to say tilapia, it's a chicken. <laughs> yeah. So, all right, back to the fight. Oh yeah. Uh, all right, let's get you two in the ring. Here we go. Ding ding ding. <laughs> Hey, Canuck. So, so come on, Yank. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry. I got to do this to you. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> hey, come on. Get your hand out of that cow's ass. <laughs> I'm going to swing it around. Oh, he's swinging it. He's around. Oh, the, oh God. Oh, no. Oh, no. What the telegraph in that cow? one? <laughs> oh, God. He missed. Oh, oh, oh you damn missed. it. He shoved a ball yeah, in his throat like I a got gag. Some, oh, 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 oh. Pah. Oh, he's ungagged. <laughs> 
He has ungagged himself like a true Canuck. Oh, here comes Minnie Bama. Well, she's not even in this one. And she's... <laughs> Look out she's, for love. Oh, my God. She's, she's carrying, coming in. She's carrying a gallon. Of, oh. <laughs> she's carrying a gallon of unsweet tea. <laughs> It hits him upside leave, the head. Leave the cow alone. Oh. Leave the cow alone. Oh, oh my God. Here comes the Indian guy through the drive through window. <laughs> I'm going to jump with my car moving and I go, wow. I got the cow. I want the coupon. I got the cow. He's down. Mm. One, two, three. And that's it. Many, many Baba wins. And many hey. Baba's riding off into the parking lot on the cow. <laughs> She'll be Come back, back for your soft serve, She'll Minnie be back Mama. In a little bit. Um, God. Later. Well, this is a great segue into our. Um, <laughs> see you later. I just hear her that off to the side. <laughs> Bye. She's so polite. She's so polite. Um, I do want to get to our topic of the day, which is dry dreams. Okay. Um, dry dreams is actually a phenomenon. It's, it's, there's a medical term for it. Wet dreams are nocturnal emissions. You know who had a dry dream? Who? Martin Luther King. <laughs> <laughs> I know he had a dream, but what made it dry? Less, lesser known after dark Martin Luther King speech. <laughs> I have a dry like dream. A lot of friction wasn't, on the sheets. What, wasn't that dream about opening a dry cleaners? <laughs> yes, was he, it was the inspiration behind the Jeffersons. <laughs> what? <laughs> yep. Yeah, little known fact: Carl Reiner based the Jeffersons off of Martin Luther King's lesser known "I Have a Dry Dream" speech, where he would uh, open up a chain of dry cleaners <laughs> and live in an apartment. On a deluxe apartment. Move it out up. Yeah. God, uh, I, I didn't know that. <laughs> How do you know true. these things? Uh, I spent a lot of time on uh, dark Wikipedia, <laughs> which is like a dick- Wikipedia that's not, um, not it's like NC-17. Um, listen, we got to get back to our topic of the day, which is, dr- oh, no, actually, they're, they're closed. Oh, it's almost Sunday. It's almost Sunday. It's they're almost closing. Sunday. Uh, they're closing early God, uh, have... for the Shabbat uh, <laughs> for Earth Sunday or whatever they call it. Chick Fil A. Shabbat. Obama come back. They want to say goodbye come, to you. Come on back here. Oh, she's. she's, she's I didn't in. go far. I just went around the corner to. Yeah. She has a fresh Hold glass of milk. <laughs> the toilet paper stuck to your shoe. I think we know where you were. <laughs> When you, know you gotta go, you gotta go, well, you know? They're about to close up here. Thank you guys so much. You have been delightful guests. I mean, it feels like we've been here for more than 20 minutes. Um, but uh, <laughs> do you guys, uh, any last words? This is like a deja vu. It, it is, isn't it? It's been such a delight. Uh, any last words? You want to plug anything? Maybe you, could, maybe you could name a sandwich at your restaurant after uh, the mini bomber. You could call it uh, Talabia. <laughs> I, was thinking, I was thinking Sweat Lapia. <laughs> Sweat lapia. You guys need to get together and we'll come up with some names. That. That's good. Yeah. Anything you guys want to plug? Anything no, I just want to yeah. thank you guys oh. for having us. I oh, mean, you know, you. now none of the terrorists are going to know we're going to do this. So, you know, <laughs> kind of keep it on the down low. This is going to be classified. Keep it on the down low. This is going to be classified. And I hope you really survived the tilapia shortage. <laughs> what? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, that was, that oh. was secret <laughs> you were, information. You were <laughs> was not classified. supposed to say that. Uh-oh, don't kill her. Uh, any last words over here? I just want to tell yeah. all this a home grown Pongo Terrace, eh? So be careful. Look around. Or a gum you to death. You never know. <laughs> I'll choke you with my flannel shirt. <laughs> All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank, thank you so you. much. Thank you. Um, and this has been another delightful ep- episode of Sex Birds. <laughs> I am your host, Dr. John T. Alanese, CPM. And I am Delilah Haydare. And uh, please don't try calling me for the next couple hours because I will be fully involved, invested in coming up with tilapia puns. See you sex time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Bye.